Thank you so much. Cute <laughs> <Human> music. <laughs> Last May, a group of three friends and I travelled to Yame City in rural Fukuoka to experience tea picking. We stayed at this adorable Airbnb called Fukuoka Farmer's House in Okimachi. Bright and early the next day, we headed to Yame City to begin our tea picking adventure. Before arriving at the tea fields, we first went to Kurogi Town for a quick hike and a tour of the area. There is a temple dedicated to the monk who brought tea to Japan. And if you reach the summit, you'll find a statue of him watching over the tea fields below. Darden. We just come down the mountain and it was pretty nice up there. And that's Mark. <laughs> vlogging me vlogging. Vlogging up vlog off. It's great. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have lunch here and take a break before we go and pick some tea. Yay! As soon as we sat down, we were served up some delicious beef stew, along with some homemade breads and some fresh quiche. Okay, so we're just about to dig in. Oh my goodness, it looks so good! It's Naomi and Claire. <laughs> so let's get stuck into this. Yum. Naomi here is going to eat this strawberry. And bite the strawberry. She really doesn't like fruit. However, she is challenging herself. You can do it! Yeah. <laughs> let's count down. Three. Two, one! Bite, bite, like bite, bite. Oh yeah. Woo, she did it! Kadaden is run by a middle-aged couple. And even though the chef was a bit shy, his food was absolutely delicious. Okay, so we've just come to Ohashi family tea fields. And you can see them behind me and there's also some over there. And they're just really beautiful. So green and lush. So this lush. Please do. And we're gonna go and pick some tea now, so let's go and do that. Because that's why we're here. Then we got back on the bus and headed to the factory. First, the tea leaves are blasted every five minutes with hot air to prevent them from wilting. Then they run through a series of conveyor belts that cut the leaves and retain their freshness until the very end of the process. This is another Ohashi, the second generation of the farming family. He told us about all the different ways the Ohashi family are striving to use sustainable farming in order to produce clean, fresh, healthy tea. Last stop was the tea shop where we were served delicious tea and tried to make our own. We finished off by buying some souvenirs before heading back to the train station. 
As we left, the locals bid us farewell and our adventures in Yame came to a close. We're finished with the green tea experience at Yame. The people are great. Um, got to chat with some great people. Now they clear. Who's running on ish for LGBT? Joe, it's always a pleasure. And Jess, there's the back of her head. It's an amazing head. <laughs> And for some reason, my audio was a lot worse than Mark's, so I'll leave you here. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Hello, I'm in Sasebo with Claire Hello. and Naomi. Hello. And we just got here, we're at Pinocchio, I think it's called, and we're about to have lunch.